bragging. McCain was in on IT. Resign now. John McCain is done. This is it, folks. He's one foot in the grave and maybe one scandal away from rotting in a prison. We now learn of the controversial news revolving around that infamous dossier that everyone keeps hearing about. The founders of Fusion GPS has thrown John McCain under the bus. They claim that they helped a researcher who essentially crafted the dossier to bring down President Trump and then gave McCain a copy of it. They wanted McCain to dish out the details to people in the Obama regime and see if they could use it to stop the Trump train from rolling through the American government. There are questions about if Hillary Clinton's campaign paid for the documentation. Collusion between McCain and Clinton could be a possibility as well. Fusion GPS is an opposition research firm that gathers intel on political opponents in an attempt to make them look horrible, discredit them, or ruin their chances at winning an election. For them to throw McCain in the line of fire means they might be covering their own tracks or hiding something else. Was McCain colluding with an oppositional force to take down a member of his own party? It sure seems like it, which is why McCain should immediately resign. He should have resigned years ago, but this could be the dagger in his career that Americans needed. When a fellow Republican tries to sabotage a presidential election or tear down the victory of someone like President Trump, then it's obvious who the problem is and where the problem lies. The only problem after identifying the problematic party member is finding a way to force them out. In this case, it's finding a way to eliminate John McCain so he can't do any further damage. Breitbart reports. The disclosure raises questions about whether McCain knew that the information he delivered to the intelligence community was actually an opposition document reportedly funded by the Hillary Clinton campaign and the Democratic National Committee. Last December, it was revealed that it was McCain who notoriously passed the controversial dossier documents produced by the Washington opposition research firm Fusion GPS to then-FBI Director James Comey, whose agency reportedly utilized the dossier as a basis for its probe into alleged Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election. Writing in a New York Times oak last Tuesday, Fusion GPS founders Glenn R. Simpson and Peter Fritsch relate that they helped McCain share their anti-Trump dossier with the intelligence community via an emissary. Were James Comey and John McCain secretly teaming up to annihilate Donald Trump? What's the point in doing that? If John McCain hates his party so much, then he should have switched parties. There would be more respect for him to go by what he believes than to go against his own party. He's in traitor territory now. The only thing that's left to do is analyze all the information and decide how and what to use in regards to McCain, Clinton, and Fusion. Breitbart continues. After the election, Mr. Steele decided to share his intelligence with Senator John McCain via an emissary, the Fusion GPS founders related. We helped him do that. Fusion GPS paid former intelligence agent Christopher Steele to do the purported research for the document. Steele later conceded in court documents that part of his work still needed to be verified. In October, The Washington Post reported that in April 2016, attorney Mark Elias and his law firm, Perkins Coie retained Fusion GPS to conduct the questionable anti-Trump work on behalf of both the Clinton campaign and the DNC. Through Perkins Coie, Clinton's campaign and the DNC continued to fund Fusion GPS until October 2016, days before Election Day, the Post reported. On January 10, CNN was first to report, based on leaked information, that the contents of the dossier were presented during classified briefings one week earlier to then-President Obama and President-elect Trump. Days before the election? That sounds like collusion to dismantle a presidential election. That sounds like something that an oppositional force is hired to do in hopes that the candidate who possibly, or indirectly, hired them had hoped for someone to do. Anytime the words Clinton, McCain, dossier, and Trump come to play then you know there's some collusion going off and it's not with Trump, it's against him. There's another piece to the puzzle and that's called BuzzFeed. They're allegedly responsible for published unverified content. It's rumored that McCain provided BuzzFeed with a copy of the dossier, but he denies that allegation. Readers aren't sure if McCain gave it to BuzzFeed or not, 
but the fact that it's a question leaves the door open for the American people to craft their own opinions on what happened. Of course, that's until proof is finally provided. BuzzFeed used to be a very funny website years ago, but then they were overrun by liberals and feminists and they're nothing but a hub of social justice whining by weak leftists. Breitbart continues. BuzzFeed published its full unverified contents. In October, McCain denied providing the dossier to BuzzFeed and said that he only gave the material to the FBI. I gave it to no one except for the director of the FBI. I don't know why you're digging this up now, McCain told the Daily Caller during what the news website described as a testy exchange. What can be done about this? Should McCain be forced to resign? Should BuzzFeed be held accountable for the information they provided to the public? It seems normal for candidates to publish information about each other in hopes that the information will bring the opponent down and pave the way for an election victory. But is it allowable for someone like John McCain to allegedly and possibly treasonously sabotage President Trump? That behavior with government members in the same party should not be acceptable. I always believe that if you no longer like your party or share the same beliefs, then join a new party. It would make sense for John McCain to switch teams and become an official Democrat. He acts like a Democrat anyway, right? Do we not refer to him as the Republican in name only, aka, Rhino? What do Americans think of this situation with the dossier? Dossier.